You're all tuned into Head Over Heels with me, Sophie. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much for your feedback. So we have received a lot of crazy text messages. And courtesy of Awad Khan's uh, crazy fans are there. So guys, thank you very much. Just hang in there. We shall be having the star over on the show very soon. Uske lawa time ho chuka dot 11 on the dial. So what are we talking about on the show? As always, we have a topic of discussion and a lot of competitions coming your way as well. But for now, let's uh, roll out the red carpet for the star himself. We have Awad Khan over on the show finally. And uh, Awad, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, your fans have been uh, driving me nuts since morning, so I just told them to hang in there because we've got a lot of questions in store for you. So, Silk, huh? What is Silk all about? Interesting um, concept. Acha. So you hit the question directly. Yes, I did. <laughs> Acha. Silk is is um is something that we uh, my wife, uh, a friend of mine, and I we came up with a couple of months ago. Mm-hmm. And we just thought that there was a bit of a vacuum in the market. Okay. It wasn't really my intention initially that I that I step into fashion. Hmm. But um, I had able hands with me. I had uh, people with a sense of aesthetics hmm. who had their priorities in the right place and they knew their work as well. Mm-hmm. So I I've been blessed with a very good team. Um, and. they identified they felt that there was a, there was a need to fill a vacuum in the market mm-hmm. which had been created because of the recent lawn craze which yeah. has been going was on actually. on going on and yeah. on and on for so many years mm-hmm. and which is not a bad thing mm-hmm. it's just that um everyone's come and concentrated into one area yeah so, so there's, no there's no really need for any more improvement as such in that department mm-hmm. secondly and more importantly i think that uh, silk we felt had a much more premium look and feel okay so it's it's something that's that's more for the occasion it sounds really uh, interesting as well now that you put it that way you know silk it's very self explanatory well, i mean it's it says i mean it says everything itself and in the context of a woman i just feel that um, honestly it really attributes a woman well it's 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 the perfect attribute for a woman i think you also like experimenting for what that's what right. you, I I think so you know from from acting to singing to everything that you like experimenting to to modeling as well so you thought probably okay I, if i hit the spot i'm sure that i would be pretty successful there as well because so now you're being diplomatic you're not saying that i was experimenting <laughs> no, you were just I, saying I, that i was <laughs> trying my luck at everything <laughs> yeah no because i do feel that you love experimenting also i think that's great because you've got a lot of feathers in your cap as well well i mean i i i apart from acting and uh, music i've i've never been a model so mm-hmm. i'd i'd really like to sort of cut that out because not because i think that modeling is an embarrassing it just uh, came your way i think it just came with the platter no, probably no 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 i was never a model i just think the modeling on its own hmm. is a uh, it's a very difficult profession hmm. it always seems very easy to people hmm. but i think it it when it takes very few i mean there are very few people who can probably act out of pool of entertainers hmm. Hmm. There is a few of people who can actually model out of a pool of uh who can be really good models. A lot of tough work. It's it's tough work. Hmm. And uh and honestly speaking it's always had my knees knocked. So I I'm not I'm I'm already very shy in front of the camera and then I get extremely I I get much more shy in front of the still camera. So So this is something people don't really know of, huh? That you get uh, shy in front of the still camera. Uh yeah, I guess they don't know that and uh So yeah, so we telling people I mean. something new that they didn't really know before. I like that. So for what mujhe bataiye that uh, if you talk about your acting career, right? Mm-hmm. So um did you expect Ham Safar to be such a huge success when he first first signed it? Not at all. Not at all. I, ha- I didn't have the slightest idea that this was going to happen. Mm-hmm. And uh I think all the credit goes I I I mostly like to give all the credit to my and, and I'm not being high-handed mm-hmm. about it and neither am I being overly modest. Mm-hmm. but i just feel that um, i felt when we started out doing the project that i was the weakest link in the chain i didn't think that Why i that? was going to keep it together well mm-hmm. it's always been my habit i um, tend to over criticize myself i am my biggest critic so i mean if there are any critics out there who are wanting to write critiques about me i i say that they can lay their pens to rest because i'm i'm the best one to do that okay i'll give myself the toughest time and which i do um which i've always done on every set and in this case as well i just felt that my team was 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 going to really carry it hmm. and they did 
Hmm. So they carried it to the end, and I just sort of reaped the benefits. I peri- I sort of piggybacked, and um, I w- I would like to mention something. I think it was a team effort, and everybody was fantastic. All the obviously. characters were so well tailored, obviously. and you know tailor made, and obviously. absolutely wonderful stuff. In fact, Sarmat Kusit, uh, he was my teacher uh, as well because I've done my masters in mass com. Uh, so he used to teach us uh, filmmaking, and I used to admire him all the time because mm-hmm. he used to be so passionate about his work, yeah. and you know he used to give us examples of English films and Bollywood films films and international films and yeah. used to be like completely in awe uh, mm-hmm. with the director and I'm sure that you had an amazing time with him. Mm-hmm. So how is he as a director A and Mahira Khan and Naveen Vakar as co-hosts, Naveen also being a radio jockey at FM91 by the way. Yes, yes, that's true and uh, I think Naveen is a brilliant actress. She is. Oh, she floored us all uh, considering the fact that this was her first project. Yes. I felt that she'd actually blown away a lot of competition. Hmm. Um, right there and then, in the in in, in this play alone, hmm. just in the first couple of episodes, I think she she really proved her metal as an yes, actor. she did. She's doing she's doing even better um, every other day uh, with every new project that's probably coming her way. I get to hear really great things about the other stuff that she's doing. Mm-hmm. So that was a that was a pleasant surprise. With Myra, I think uh, <coughs> we just got along very well. Mm-hmm. We got along very well. Uh, Even for uh, Mahira, I think post Hamsafar, she mm. has come up with so many interesting projects. I mean, you get to see her on TV every other day. Because mm. Abibi, whenever I switch on the TV, I think there's no interesting promo or no drama or no something like that. I think that's brilliant. And also, I think a lot of people have cashed in on the success of Hamsafar as well. Obviously, why not? Hmm. Uh, because a lot of people abroad, you know, um, my cousins, uh-huh. uh, they were crazy about Hamsafar. I'm sure that you have a lot of uh, fans abroad as well. Mm-hmm. So how is that uh, interaction with them? When you send emails, or how do you interact with those people when you go abroad for shows or something of the sort? Um, well, I mean, uh, our interaction is fairly simple. And I say fairly simple because, honestly speaking, they do more than half the work. Uh, which is required, uh, which is the which is the appreciation that they give. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the times, it's 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 even more humbling abroad than it is in Pakistan, hmm. because they absolutely. Uh, I I feel that they've got this, they've got this uh, a higher sense of nationalism and spirit. That is so true. Spirit of uh, of nationalism yes. in them. Yes. Then the locals do, in which I'm not, I'm not saying that the locals are at any fault mm-hmm. here, but uh, or they're doing any less. But it's just it's just wonderful how they respond, especially abroad. So it's it's mostly meeting them hmm. and it should be one on one. Yeah. Now that's wonderful. Okay, great. So, well, we go more questions for uh, for Vaz Khan, and a lot of people have been texting away. But for now, uh, let's jump towards the next uh, competition. Whether this is going to be courtesy of Vaz Khan's debut collection, and it's going to be a very simple question. We've been asking you uh, this question also. Kafi der pele me aap logo ko bata bhi rehi thi. So the question is for the free silk shirts. That uh, what is Vaz Khan's latest collection called? His debut collection, rather. Is it a silk? Is it B cotton or is it C linen? How sweet is that and how simple is that? So nine one nine one is the number with the name and of course your contact details. Just remember uh, to send in your contact details, which is very important, and you can win yourselves two silk shirts. So what kind of music are you into, Fawad? Although you are, um, I'm guessing probably into rock music, but uh, why don't you explain that uh, for yourself? Uh, let's just leave it to uh, that. I'm into very dark and dreary music. Okay, yeah, all right. It's not necessarily rock, but. Uh, if I had an evening show, I would have loved to play that sort of music. But yeah. since it's a morning show, no, trust me, you wouldn't play that on the evening. Show <laughs> okay, well. great. All right, <laughs> that dark, huh? Okay, yeah. so well, what is Fawad Khan's latest collection called? His debut collection, rather. Is it a silk, B cotton, or C linen? Do let me know by texting in on nine one nine one with the name and your contact details. Also, uh, keep on texting in on nine one nine one. Roll out all your shoutouts and all the questions that you have for us. Uh, coming up next is going to be a track by Bon Jovi. This is going to be "You Give Love a Bad Name." Nine one nine one is the number. Good morning. You're all tuned into Head Over Heels with me, Sophie.
German boys and girls. Thank you very much for your feedback. So we have received a lot of text messages. A lot of people are tweeting away as well. And yes, we are in conversation with Fawad Khan himself. And he has a lot of feathers in his cap. I mean, his acting career, his singing career, and a lot of other things as well. And now his designing career, he's come up with a debut collection called Silk, which is, uh, inshallah, going to be pretty awesome. Fourth and fifth of August. Now tell me, where is it? Where is it taking place? What are the timings? And what are all the details? The venue of the exhibition, which is uh, what it, it will be at, um, at present, we're not um, launching any stores, mm-hmm. any outlets, uh, which we will, inshallah, in the future. Mm-hmm. But for, at present, we are, we're, we're just doing an exhibition in PFTC Mall 1 right. on the 4th and 5th of August. Okay, it's a two-day exhibition. It's a two-day exhibition. And, um, and if people can come in from Karachi and Islamabad, that would be lovely as well. We would love to actually go down to their town. But um, because we've worked on a very limited quantity at present, and we've tried to gauge um, what the response is, which at this point in time is actually very wild, and mm-hmm. we just now regret why we hadn't done something bigger. Hmm. But our pieces are limited. It's and a great uh, start, though. You know what? It's a great start, and I'm sure mm-hmm. it'll catch on very quick. Yeah. But like this, somewhere around between 1,200 and 1,500, uh, somewhere around 1,200 pieces so, yeah. hmm. that we're, we're dealing this hmm. time around. Hmm. So it's on the 4th and 5th and I would love people to come and check it out. Uh, but before there's anyone who questions and asks why we didn't get into something bigger on a bigger scale, the reason for that was we initially had planned uh, a limited number of units, but okay. we had planned somewhere somewhere around 2,000 or 2,500 units. Okay. And uh, we experienced some technical difficulties initially when we were printing on silk because hmm. these are custom design prints and uh, the biggest complication for us was that most of the color block prints which include like three color block patterns three colors yeah are, s- are on a single piece mm. so it's not like it's not stitched together to make a color block palette it's just printed on one okay. on one fabric okay so the whole design which was custom design it's a uh, lot of hard work it was it was mm. and i'm not the one who actually suffered the brunt of it because i my wife basically did most of the work and my friend i was only her? busy in my own um, um, schedules mm. but but we kept on sharing the you know the problems and how we wanted to troubleshoot it and as a result of that we uh, we cut down from somewhere around like uh, 2000 pieces to 1200 pieces we like just threw away 800 okay because it was just it was we, we were just that conscious about the quality of mm. it and the stitch is great it. actually because yeah. you have to be pretty conscious about the quality i mean but i think great pride in that because i feel that uh, few people uh, actually go to the extent of you know Making wasting sure. so much money so that people are happy <laughs> okay great i think the best thing is that it's a good fusion of eastern and western styles and uh-huh. probably the concepts of color and print blocking helps a lot as well uh-huh. okay so we have a lot of questions for you uh, we have someone who says uh, that could you please tell us that can you please see fawad khan on the 5th of august at the exhibition and a smiley face and a smiley face okay <laughs> I'll, i'll try to smile as much as you want me to <laughs> all right i'm sure that you can uske alawa basir from the horse says this is answer to the question best of luck to fawad khan for his new venture thank and uh, that he is stepping in and may he be successful thank, thank you, you so much thank that you. is very sweet of you okay so we have uh, okay um someone says i love fawad and i i mentioned it exactly how the text message came in right <laughs> and then he or she says please come to my school that's bayview high okay then bayview high where is it exactly Uh, thank you very much for texting in although i've heard a lot about it okay great so we've got more text messages and um Let's see. We've got uh, a question for you, Dr. Amnes Tunin. Uh, she says, "I want to win," and his latest collection is called Dada. And could you please ask him what projects is he working on currently these days? Um, at present, I think um, uh, our project is uh, is is pretty much a handful. And um, uh, for the past two months, I think. I've been using that as an excuse to hibernate and sleep at home okay. on right. vacation and Smart, uh, play you? video games. Hmm. But uh, but yes, um, I'm I'm just taking a a bit of a I'm I'm stepping out for a while. Hmm. I'm not going to be doing more work uh, immediately in the immediate future. Hmm. Though there are intentions of getting back into the studio and recording singles. Hmm. Um, uh, but this time around on on more of a in a solo capacity. But when that happens, I, I don't know. Um, because I am a bit lazy about my work uh, especially if there's not someone who's whipping me to to get it done <laughs> okay but right. uh, the first six months of this year were were quite a roller coaster and I think uh, that's pretty much drained the energy out of me for 
the next few months to follow. Wonderful. So we've got a special text message for you. I'll tell you later. But for now, we've got more on-air messages as well for you. Uh, someone just texted in a while ago. I think it was Hafsa. And uh, and before that, we've got Afshin. And I think she's probably from Islamabad. Uh, but I'm not sure about that. She says, uh, please inform us about the time of the exhibition at PFTC. Anis Fawad Khan going to be there. Colon P. Um, well, I'm guessing that he's definitely going to be there, Afshin. Thank you very much for texting in. As far as the timings of uh, the exhibition are concerned at PFTC, we'll have to tell you just in a bit. And uh, right now, we've got uh, more text messages. But for now, as far as the competition ka sawal is concerned, it's a very simple question. The question is, what is Fawad Khan's latest collection called? Is it silk? Is it cotton? Or is it linen? So we've got an international listener, and her name is Kiran Iqbal. She's tuned in, and she's a huge fan of yours. And she was really upset that she was not on the link. She was a bit down, but now that it is, so a huge shout-out to you from her side. Wow, that's the, thank you, thank you so much, Karen. Thank you so much. Acha, so speaking of fashion, many kasaval puchata pele in the first hour of my oh, show, right? Oh, before I forget, the, hmm. the timings of the exhibition yeah. are from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. on 4th and 5th. Brilliant. So, by 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. on 4th and 5th of August, uh, so make sure that you guys, uh, you know, just keep a lock to Radio 1591 also for the details and to his page as well for more details coming your way. Uskila, yes, I was talking about uh, this interesting topic of discussion that what's the biggest fashion disaster people do? nowadays, right? So a lot of people texted in, koi kera tha ke, you know, busy clothes, too much of design makes everything look bad, koi kera tha, too much of accessories. So if I ask you that question, what do you think is the biggest fashion disaster people do nowadays here in Pakistan? Wow. Yeah, uh, Saad ne kata chipped nails and mismatched socks. So I thought that was interesting. <laughs> okay. Mismatched socks? So I think it's a little bit weird. Who does that in the past? A lot of people do actually. They do? Yeah, they do definitely. I think it's a little bit weird. 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 And also I think that for girls, I think it's very important if you have red lipstick, you're not supposed to do heavy makeup on your eyes. That's very important because what people tend to forget is that if you have a heavy mouth, then you have to keep a light, um, you know, overall makeup and that's how it usually is. So what do you think? What do you think is the biggest fashion disaster that people usually make in Pakistan? I think too much uh, of accessories. What I feel is that what I've seen on TV also um, is that they wear too much of accessories. Like if you have like a big pendant, right? Yeah. So you can't really wear huge earrings mm -hmm. at the same time. And then, mm -hmm. you know, lots of churia and lots of rings. But okay, I hope that you got my point. So I, we've got more questions for you, Fawad. Uh -huh. Right? So I want to tell apart from, you know, your debut collection and all that, I want to tell that if you were made the leader of Pakistan, what is the first thing you'd change? Oh. The I, first I, thing you'd change? I, I think... Uh, I just resign and first go change myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All righty then. And what's your favorite place in the world? My favorite place hmm. in the world. Since you travel a lot, so what's your favorite place in the world? <sighs> well, that's a difficult one. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so your top three. That would do. Top three. Do you like beaches more or do you like Tandi Jage? What is your preference? I think there's a place that I'd like to see and I haven't seen. Okay. And I'm, um, I'd love to go and check out, <laughs> and I know this might sound funny and a bit immature, but I'd love to go and check out Transylvania. Okay. And All see, right. I really see what the place is like and hmm. what it actually is, hmm. what the mystery about it is. Hmm. All right. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's what I've always wanted to do ever since I was, uh, um, I, I wouldn't say a kid, but a teenager. Yeah, that's something on my bucket list. I'd All love right. to go and check out Transylvania. All right, that sounds interesting. Okay, uh, Munir from the horse says, Salam sis, good morning, just tune in, have a nice day, and pay my regards to all the listeners. Thank you very much. Okay, so we had a question for you. Um, I think we had a compliment for you from Hafza. So Hafza is a listener of mine. She's based in Lahore. And she says, Hey, Sof, how are you doing? I didn't sleep in excitement because I had to take a listen to your show. Please tell Fawad Khan that I love him, and I'm sure it's true love this time. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So, and then she says, kidding, but yes, I'm a huge fan of uh, his. Are you okay. kidding? Acha. <laughs> he took it seriously. Hasa. I really took it seriously. About? You broke his heart. No, she <laughs> broke my heart. Your, your presenter broke my heart <laughs> because she announced it in such a way because she just read the whole message and in the end, she was like, but it's... Uh, it's kidding. it's a lie. She's just kidding. Kidding. But um, but thank you so much, Hafsa. Thank you so much for appreciating uh, my work and my efforts. And and uh, I honestly always say that the artist is is half the audience. Without the audience, the artist cannot exist. Um, you are our patrons, and it's because of you who we are. 
so lekin is baat pe chhod nahi hona aap <laughs> all right great so well we've got a lot of questions for you also we've got the double q round coming up that is a quick questions round and told of awad khan on air in fact offer actually that he has to earn those uh, iftar vouchers so unke bare mein hum baat karenge just in a bit also we've got a lot of tweets as well sare hum jo hain tweets shamil karenge right after the next chat that we have for you and for the second last time on the show you have to tell us that what is the name of his debut collection aapko humne teen options diye the is it a Uh, silk is it B cotton or is it C linen? Do let me know by texting in on nine one nine one with a name and your contact details. So what shall we play for you? What kind of desi music do you like? If you talk about Pakistani music, hmm, desi music. I really like the. Uh, this one from Coke Studio mm-hmm. that Nuri did, Sari Raat Jaga. Ooh, that's a beautiful track. That's a beautiful, beautiful track. So let me search up for the track and then I shall definitely play that for you. Um, are you a huge Nuri fan? Oh, I'm a very big Nuri fan. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I think that um, I've got. Uh, uh, he's my favorite vocalist, actually, Ali Noor. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think he's brilliant. Even I, I mean, think favorite Pakistani vocalist because I have a lot of favorite vocalists, but out of Pakistan, he's my, he's my. I think he's got, he's got this, he's got this beautiful texture to his voice. Wonderful. Yeah. That sounds wonderful. Okay, great. So well, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do, and we have to pay our bills as well. So short commercial break coming away. Meanwhile, you guys can text under nine one nine one, and also if you have any questions for the star, do let me know by texting in on nine one nine one. Great. But with the name and a city's name, all your contact details, so that I know who is talking to me. But right now, we have a short commercial break for you. <laughs> You're all tuned into Head Over Heels with me, Sophie. Thank you very much for your feedback. So yes, we have received a couple of text messages. We have uh, Kiran Iqbal who's tuned in. Uh, she says, "Thank you for mentioning my name and thanks to Fawad uh, too. I would love to visit the exhibition, but unfortunately, I am not in Pakistan." Well, that's okay. Whenever we have a chance of um, hosting the exhibition yet again, and you happen to be in Pakistan, you can always join us, right? So thank you very much for that. And yes, coming back to the questions bit, मुझे बताइए ये that we were just talking about this music, right? right? So if you talk about old school music, um, you know, 90s music, um, I grew. up in the 90s so i i used to love awaz i used to love junoon and i grew up in the 90s as i well. know i no. know but i was talking about my own neither old and neither younger than I that, that. I, i know so um <laughs> when you talk about music from the 90s uh kiska naam instantly aapke dimag mein aata hai kis band ka ya kis artist ka music from the 90s uh since you grew up in the 90s as you mentioned uh uh-huh. yes but during the 90s i was i just moved to pakistan okay. or uh मैं बड़ा बर्गर बच्चा था उस जमाने में तो मैं बहुत ज्यादा विलायती म्यूजिक सुनता था बट हैविंग सेड दैट आई थिंक अप टू अ सर्टेन पॉइंट वाइटल साइंस वाज वाज प्रॉब्ली माय फेवरेट was probably my favorite band yeah. wonderful wonderful yeah. okay so you know what i've always wanted to ask this question um kisi aise insaan se jo ki kafi zyada experienced in music industry mein right mm-hmm. so when they done that so my question is that do you think there's a monopoly of a certain big artists in the music industry and people who you still feel stop others from reaching the top and attaining the glory do you think that exists um Well, I don't think that artists play any role in in trying to stop someone else from getting uh, from climbing up the ladder. Okay. I think ये सब बकवास होती है. अच्छा. ये सिर्फ जो जिनके मुंह खट्टे होते हैं, दिल खट्टे होते हैं, वो इस तरह की बातें करते हैं. There's a time and place for everything, and if there's if you're like there's there's two ways of doing music. I was 
would like to tell musicians either you look at the final product mm. and you look at the uh, audience and then say okay I'm, i'm i'm going to make this for the audience or either you say that i'm just going to make what i feel comes from the heart right now i think out of the two coming from the heart bit that's much better hmm. because it always turns out sounding more genuine hmm. it turns out sounding more connected to you hmm. and you don't seem misplaced in 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 the in in the, in the music itself right and there's always a very big chance that you'll win over the audience as well because you're honest about your emotion hmm. Hmm. but as far as um, um artists on the top having a monopoly it's only because i guess their their talent is in demand hmm and there's no other explanation to that all right all right yeah. brilliant that's a good approach towards it okay so great coming back to the competition bit what is avad khan's uh, debut collection called is it a silk pea cotton or sea linen so let's go read out a couple of questions for you we've got uh, someone who says that uh, bayview highs in karachi i can't wait to see avad khan and some hearts coming along with the message uh, can you please tell me if he's on uh, okay great i'm not you know what the thing is that uh, let me direct your question towards my fan page theek okay? hai uh, go ahead and join rj sufi radio 1f91 and i shall be answering all your questions okay uske alawa we've got amr from lahore who says that hey could you please tell fawad khan that i like him very much and every time there's a concert i try to attend the concert but i can't really attend it because of my bad luck can please read my text just at amr thank you very much and a big shout out to you from thank you amr uh, thank you fawad khan as well okay great so we've got uh, afshin who says you know i'm the same girl who used to post on your wall that you resemble my uh, my My what? My what? Afshin, um I'm not sure that I understand what you're talking about, but let me just uh, get back to you on that, okay? So great coming back to um, some more questions now. Let's talk about movies. So um are you fond of uh, watching movies? Are you a couch potato when it comes to movies? Mm. TV shows, movies. I love watching TV shows and movies. Okay. Um So any particular TV show that you're addicted to? Uh not the running series. Uh I've I've heard a lot uh, recently. Recently, I've never I, I haven't gotten the time to actually sit down and and uh, properly watch anything. Okay. But uh, the the most recent one that I actually sat and I and I watched all of it through and through. I went even I used to go online and I'm watching stuff on Mega Video. Oh, nice. Um, uh, just to just to get through the series because I just couldn't stop my hand. Okay. Uh, which was the Tudors. Okay. All right. Um which is about Henry the 8th. Hmm. Uh about the Tudor dynasty hmm. and its downfall after the ascension of Henry the 8th. And it's a period play and it is it is I would say I'd 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 actually want all the producers in the Pakistan to actually watch it. Okay. <laughs> so that they can learn all right. something from it. So speaking of which by the way, have you seen Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones I hated. You didn't like I it. I absolutely hated Game Why of Thrones. Why not? I just felt it was a very incoherent series. Oh my god. Each world was connected to the other no, without any don't, sense don't or No, I didn't say that. Really? I, I Am I angering the Game of Thrones? I love the I'm Game of Thrones. I'm sorry guys, but I just I um I don't mean to offend anyone. I just felt it was Well, each to his own, but you have to admit it was. I think visually beautiful. It had no beautiful. dialogue content to it. It, it was just, visually it's... beautiful. So much of hard work. It was so creative. It was all about an imaginary yeah, world, so was, imaginary so place. So was Spartacus blood and sand. <laughs> <laughs> We can have a long debate there. So what about Entourage? I was a huge fan of Entourage. Entourage, well. yes, I, I I liked Entourage. Hmm. Um, it was a fun series what, to watch. Yeah. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to actually watch the uh, the, the seventh season, which was the last season. Uh, eighth one. Was it the eighth one? Yeah, yeah, eighth one. Eighth was the last like one. Which is like six episodes or seven episodes. I'm I think it's the seventh season. Uh, eighth, eighth to last season, season tha. But I'm not sure how many episodes I'm watching. Yeah, but but uh, yeah, the last one. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I didn't get the chance to watch that. It was but good. before that, it's I, and then again, I I blame it all on my schedule in the past couple of months. Hmm. Things have been really um, haywire the past year. Hmm. But uh, I get to hear a lot about this uh, boardwalk empire. Hmm. and uh, another series that i'm i'm beginning to um, i'm 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 forgetting right now okay um which is about this advertising circuit in the 70s uh, mad, mad men mad men this uh, 60s i'm actually hooked on to it Achha. and it's based in uh, 1960 that's uh, 1960s okay and yeah. it's wonderful for what have you seen it no i haven't i have to see all these you things you have to watch, to watch all these it. things it is so good and kene ko 1960s ke zamane ka ye hai but it is so good ke lagta hi nahi hai kitni purani jo hai na in logo ne ek sari show ke ski with it absolutely wonderful stuff but i heard that it was actually based on um, the true concept of those people who actually did exist 
in a certain advertising market mm-hmm. so usse inspire ho ke because they were known as mad men because they were crazy mm-hmm. i think the advertising world is absolutely crazy so yeah so that's where it all in started pakistan I think generally That's across the globe. <laughs> Look at him. He's trying to get words out of my mouth. How smart is that? Okay, good. So we've got a lot of tweets for you, but for now, for this last time on the show, I guess, or maybe the second last time on the show, let's put it to that. Um, what is the debut collection of Awad Khan called? Is it A, silk, B, cotton, or C, linen? And once again, we'll tell you where it's taking place and when. Awad, when? Oh, yeah. uh, it's on the 4th and 5th of August. and it'll be from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Uske alawa 919 is the number for all your queries and all your text messages as well. But if you've got uh, Coke Studio ka gana coming your way, if I can find it, I've been trying to search for it, but I shall do that very soon. But for now, um how about if we play for you a classic track by Def Leppard? Are you fond of Def Leppard? Oh, very much so. This is something from Slang. Uh it is a track called Animal. Oh, do you have to turn to dust? Um I think I do. So I'll have to search for it and it'll take some time, okay. but that's so okay. Long. That's what I get paid for to talk. So I can still <laughs> do that as well. If you want me to, that's not a problem. Okay, no, no, you can just play what you have. Okay, great. So that makes my life easy. <laughs> This is going to be animal, so enjoy. You're on tune to Head Over Heels with me, Sophie. So crazy text messages on 9191. Thank you very much for your feedback. And we have received a couple of tweets as well. We have Fawad Khan over on the show, and we are in conversation with the well. How shall I put it? Um, uh, the actor, the singer, the designer uh, himself. So thank you very much once again for being with us, Fawad. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, great. So we've got a couple of text messages for you. Uh, someone says this is answer the, to the question. This is because of my nine-year-old uh, daughter. She's super excited to hear about Fawad Khan and is repeating the brand's name under her breath in excitement. She thought that the last Hafsa you mentioned was her, and she jumped off her seat in joy. Could you please give a shout out to her? If not the prize, thank you. I would appreciate it. Hafsa, I love you very much, and thank you for listening to this and jumping for joy. Please don't faint now, okay? You do not require that is not required. Okay, Afshin says that do mention that after this song. Okay, great. So we have a message for you, Fawad, and this is by Afshin, and she says that I'm the same uh, girl, जो कि आपके वॉल के ऊपर पोस्ट करती है, that you resemble her bhaiya. Well, Afshin, thank you, thank you for trailing me this far, and uh, and मैं क्या कहूँ? I appreciate that uh, that I'm just as you find me just as good looking as your bhaiya. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. Okay, so you guys can write in to me on sophie@fnari1.com.pk. That's s o p h i e r f n a r i 1compk We have an email and that is sent to us by Eden Samuel. Eden, thank you very much for your feedback. He also says that I sent an email your way and hi Fawad, you are really talented and best of luck for your future project and all your other projects as well. Thank you. Okay, thank we've you. got Ali Z who's tuning in and Ali Z jo hai he is is an uh, he's a radio jockey based in Chicago and he's tuned in by the internet as well so he says hey sophie good afternoon it's actually midnight in my place but i just wanted to say that i've been following fawad's career since jut and bond and the first time i spoke to fawad was back in 2006 on the phone and i've never met such a talented and a humble individual he has kept in touch with all these years while doing khuda ke liye satrangi hum safar etc it still amazes me uh, to see fawad doing such a creative thing as well the guy is an all rounder he's an actor he's a musician and our fashion is Designer. I believe everyone should support him and whatever he is doing and I just want everyone to know that um, Vad is someone who is here to stay. Keep up the great work and keep surprising us. And Sophie, congratulations on the marriage and a happy belated birthday regards Ali. Thank you so much Ali, I appreciate it. So Ali, yes. Thank you. Thank you Ali, thank you so much. And uh baki baat hum baad mein karenge all right ali thank you so much he is uh, a very very sweet person thank you for the wishes as well so especially tune in um, you know because jab ko pata tha ki aap aayenge to he especially yeah, he's a, he's um He's a very talented individual on his own. Yes, he is. He's in Lahore, he's, uh, in fact. You know that uh, a year ago, I think. Ali was in Lahore. Ha, a year That's ago. I don't, hmm. I don't know about that. But he um, initially used to be in Dubai, and he does. He's he's got his own gig ro- going, and he's. Uh, He's also got a bit of an event management circuit. Yes, yes, he's managing in, in, in a few the, um, artists as well. So, 
بیسٹ آف لک ٹو ہیم وتھ دیٹ آلویز اینڈ لائک آئی سیڈ اتنا لمبا خط لکھنے کا شکریہ بعد میں بات کریں گے باقی بےچارا مطلب پہلے ہم سفر سے رولو کوسٹ رائڈ پر اب وہ ڈیزائننگ میں آ گیا I've done wrong <laughs> but she seriously thinks I just need to relax and break my legs <laughs> okay. and says hey I was going through the Silk uh, Facebook fan page and it was mentioned that um They need boys and girls for some activity for Silk. I emailed my details though. Could you ask Fawad what more can I do? I really want to become a part of Silk. And Sophie, a live singing from Fawad to Banta Haji. And this is answer to the question. Keep up the great show, you guys. And God bless you both. Well, maybe you could have him over some other time for another show. But for now, it's a special edition of his new clothing line. So let's keep it to that. Um, as far as uh, uh, you having emailed in for the... Uh, 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 for volunteering and thank you so much for doing that um i have a pr person with us right now and he can maybe fill you in on a bit on the details where you can send in your uh, your emails and how we will get back to you about that uh, batula well with regard to the volunteering on the event uh, you can always go and visit the facebook page wahan pe email address jo hai wo mentioned hai and then uh, the team or at silk will decide ke kaun se shortlisted volunteers and they'll contact them themselves and then they'll be briefed about the details of the event All right, wonderful. Thank you very much, Abdullah, for that. Okay, Amna says, I believe Pakistani dramas need to be promoted before they are aired, uh, just like how Bollywood and Hollywood promote their movies before they release. Uh, I think you're right about that. Uh, they should be promoted. Um... Uh, and there are ways of doing that but i just feel that uh before we go into this whole um uh, this whole thing about finishing the product mm-hmm. i think we need to we can work a little harder on the quality of the product itself not having i'm not saying that that uh, uh pakistani dramas in any way are, are anything bad to watch but i just feel there is still a great deal of room for improvement as far as production and aesthetics are concerned and once we have reached that level i think then we can step on to the next thing about how to cover the chocolate uh we're talking about making the wrap before making the chocolate itself wonderful that sounds delicious though right. okay so we've got tizena from lahore who says ask for what that on the 4th will he be at the exhibition because i want to take a picture with him i will be coming <laughs> to the exhibition <laughs> okay and it would be very nice to have pictures with um with all my fans out there mm-hmm. and um, well you come over and let's see okay sure um for what i love you a lot and i want to meet you once in my life and will you come there on the exhibition if yes then at what time and what are the prices of uh, you know the whole uh, bit as well so the price range ke bare mein bhi aap thoda sa batao uh the price range is uh varies from somewhere between uh, 5500 to uh 12000 uh on most of the pieces mm-hmm. but uh give or take hazar do hazar upar niche aur baki ko cheeze hain the selected pieces hmm. but uh, is se zyada nahi hai and uh, trust me it really took, <laughs> took out my nails <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> to price it like that but nay nee, honestly speaking i think it was worth it every bit of it um we just want to see you guys walk out happy All right. right. I'm sure that you would do that. Um okay so my daughter and I are texting from Lahore and uh, we're driving around and I think that I have to keep driving for the length of the show. Thank you for what you made Hazza's day. She's smiling her head off. Thank you and best of luck from all of us. Okay, thank you so much. Thank okay. you so much to you. I have a knack of reading out the text messages exactly as they come in. So you know just don't get shocked. No, no, no. Okay. All, okay, great. So we've got uh, finally the quick questions run for you and we've got a uh, free iftar vouchers for you cuz oh, wow. of Noodle House and California Grill. Uh so the deal is that you'll have 5 seconds to answer each question. ठीक है अब्दुल्ला इज द बजर अब्दुल्ला 5 सेकंड गुजरे आपने बज ठीक है बीप व्हाटएवर जो भी आपके बजर का साउंड है राइट दिस शुड बी द लॉन्गेस्ट 5 सेकंड्स ऑफ योर लाइफ ओके नो 5 सेकंड मींस 5 सेकंड्स ओके योर टाइम स्टार्ट्स नाउ योर टॉप मोस्ट ईपी सॉन्ग इज येट अह शोर मचा व्हिच आर्टिस्ट डू यू थिंक वाज अमेजिंग इन कोक स्टूडियो सीजन 5 सो फार आई डिडंट वॉच सीजन 5 द बेस्ट एक्टर इन बॉलीवुड टुडे Uh no one. The most overrated Bollywood actress. Uh Kareena Kapoor. If you could be a part of any film of your choice, which one would you choose? I'm sorry? If you could be a part of any film of your choice, which one would you choose? 
I feel my choice. Which one I'm saying? Superman. If you could eat any one food item for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Oh wow! No, I I think I'd like to change the menu every day. Okay, Ali Zafar or Atif Azam, who's the better singer? Um, Ali. The best male vocalist in the world today. The world. Best male vocalist in the world. Hmm. I uh, my favorite is this man called Maynard James Keenan, and uh, I'm not very sure that a lot of people are aware about him. He's a he's an alternative metal vocalist, belongs to a band called Tool and a Perfect Circle. Wonderful. Pakistan's best female vocalist. <sighs> That's a difficult choice. Beep. If Fawad Khan had a tagline, what would it be? I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> <laughs> Mysterious, aren't you? The most underrated Pakistani musician slash artist. Musician slash artist. Hmm. Um, Mikhail Hasan. Your best friend in the world. Your 3 a.m. friend. If you can call him up at 3 a.m., you know he's going to be there or she's going to be there. I have no such friends. That's sad. Why? Uh, no, no 3 a.m. friends. <laughs> okay, the toughest co-star to work with. <laughs> the toughest co-star to work with. All of them. Okay, if you could do anything and get away with it, what would it be? Uh, if I could do anything and get away with it, what would it be? Yeah. God, I'd have to be Invisible Man for that. The most exciting <laughs> city to have a concert in? <laughs> uh, Lahore. Oh, well, I mean, no, actually, that's, that's a... Fa- you know, why, why are you doing that? Okay, your biggest regret <laughs> in life. <laughs> My biggest regret in life. Three more questions to go. Uh, I don't have any such regrets that come to mind. Okay, what's your weakness? My weakness? Sweets. Can you fall in love with two people at the same time? I think you can. Okay. 70s, 80s, 90s or the 21st century in fashion, which decade is your favorite one? 70s, 80s, 90s? Or the 21st century? The 21st, 70s. Okay. And uh, what's the first word that comes to your mind when someone mentions... Not 70s, mentions? sorry. I'm going to correct that. 80s. Okay. Um, look, he's got like so much of time, na? But look, correct bhi kar dena. Saad nahi aise marks kattenge. What's the first word that comes to your mind when someone mentions music? When the first person? No. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when someone mentions music? The first thing that comes to your mind? Music. Five minutes. Okay. <laughs> so, um, this is the last question. And you've got one minute. And you are the radio jockey. And I'm a, I'm a radio jockey as well. So, mm-hmm. I'm the guest on your show. So, it's your chance to be a radio jockey. Ask me any question. <laughs> see, see, it's tough. Being, I told you it's that. tough being a radio jockey. I is this told is you. that why you put up this question yes. so that people realize how tough your job oh, is? Oh yes, oh for sure. Please, uh, if anyone is listening out there, do realize that Sophie is extremely <laughs> underpaid and extremely unhappy about her work, <laughs> and she wants to realize that she works really hard at what she does. And uh, honestly speaking, uh, we were having this conversation mm-hmm. off the off the air, and. Um, it's it's another one of those things that I just feel is you have to be very quick on your feet. You have to be a very fast thinker. You have to be a very evil person to be an RJ. Evil person to be a radio <laughs> jockey. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. That was a huge compliment. So great. Just some applause for Fawaz. I think he Thank did you. pretty well. So I guess you've earned those vouchers. So it's your choice to go to California Grill or to Noodle House, right? So let's just jump towards the next track. So for the last time on the show, jaldi se bataiye because time is running short. Also for all the questions on 9191. And what is the name of Fawaz Khan's debut collection? Is it silk? Is it cotton? Or is it linen? <laughs> You're all tuned into Head Over Heels with me, Sophie. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much for your feedback. And we really appreciate each and every text message sent our way, including those emails and tweets as well. Uh, time for us to wrap up the show and time for me to head out. But before I do that, I'd like to thank Fawad Khan for coming over on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sophie, for having me. Yeah, it's it been was an a pleasure. pleasure. And I hope that you enjoyed the show. I enjoyed it very much. Okay, great. Especially the rapid fire round, but I think I'll enjoy the noodles more. <laughs> okay, great. Because you <laughs> earned the noodles, huh? Okay, so we have uh, some questions for you. Jaldi, jaldi say, because two minutes are going Someone says that. Zena from Lahore uh, what do you enjoy most acting, singing or designing? Uh, first of all I'd, I'd like to clarify on the, on the designing front um, it's an idea that was hatched by the three of us but uh, it's my wife I think who's mostly uh, cultivated and, and sort of nurtured this, this, this child and uh, brought it to this stage from the design to the printing to the quality check and everything I think she's the main person behind it all. Wonderful. So, um, 
मैं ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग आई 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 एम एम नॉट वुड से फैशन इलेटरेट बिकॉज देन आई डोंट वांट यू पीपल टू सेंटर अगर ये फैशन इलेटरेट देन व्हाई शुड कम एंड सी इज क्लोज बट बट obviously you have your own style and your own dressing sense and all that aapki aesthetics to hain but primarily it's your wife think, who's yeah, yeah. my it's primarily my wife who's hmm. been doing this but um, i just think that this look really pretty and uh, <clears throat> and not then again i'm that i'm marketing my product but i think it look very pretty on the women out there Okay, <laughs> brilliant. And yes, the answer to the question was silk. Okay, and uh, someone says we really enjoyed the rapid fire round so much, and you guys made my day. This is answer to the question. Okay, great. So I'll well, tell you what. We will send you a silk shirt with a free invite bhi for the exhibition that is taking place on the fourth and the fifth of August. And uh, two, which are free invites, we will give you. But we will tell you your name on your Facebook fan page par, because time is running short. So go ahead and join Silk fan page and also my fan page, and we shall keep you guys posted. So thank you so much for that. And uh, have a great day, and we'd love to have you over very, very soon. Inshallah, inshallah, thank you so would much. Would love to be over again as well. Thank you so much, Sophie, and thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Pleasure. All right, guys, thank you very much for your feedback. Also, tomorrow on the show, we shall be having uh, the owner of California Grill. He shall be talking about his scrumptious recipes. And I will tell you later. Thank you very much for the feedback, and have a great day. Bye bye. 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 Bye b